we think it's only begun. Uh, we gained our first exposure to Bitcoin in 2015 when it was $250. And I can tell you today at 60 plus thousand dollars, now that the SEC has given the green light to institutions, um, we have just begun. This is not only a monetary revolution, it is a new asset class. And the first new asset class since equities in the 1600s. So every institution has a fiduciary responsibility with a new asset class. Why? Uh, a, a new asset class tends to have low correlation of returns relative to other asset classes. Therefore, it is a diversifier. And therefore, it increases returns per unit of risk. And every asset allocator, uh, that's their goal. And if they, if they miss one, they're probably going to lose in this game. So we think many institutions are looking very seriously at adding Bitcoin to their portfolios. And it is going to be one of the reasons, after all, there are only going to be one and a, not even one and a half million new Bitcoin minted ever. You know, where, where, or would that be one and a half? It'd be, uh, uh, yes, one and a half new million a Bitcoin minted ever. Uh, that's a, that's a, a small uh, supply. The supply relative to demand uh, is going to push the price up, we think, quite significantly. We are in print in saying that this institutional push alone could put add, could add, I think uh, it's in our big ideas 2024, could add $2.9 million per Bitcoin uh, oh. to the price. Now that's okay. over by 2030, but uh, uh, someone asked me yesterday, you know, do you think it'll hit a uh, uh, 100,000 any, anytime soon? Absolutely, the institutional move in alone, uh, we think gets us there. And it's what just demand and supply dynamics, right? because supply is so constrained.